thing with this one. Now watch them. Nice tune. Ja. Yes, King. Come, come through. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, um, uh, being a, pro a prolific leader yeah. when it comes to reggae and dance style movement here in Ghana, yeah. as you s rightly said yourself, yeah. Yeah. what are some of the steps you're taking uh, to change uh, that negative perception of our Rastafari movement here in Ghana? Yeah, this is it's a, a very good vibe, you know, because um, I'm, I'm always trying everywhere we go. Yeah, yeah, my message to the youth and us, you know, they just don't have to put the locks, you know, and call themselves a Rasta. Okay. Because, yeah, Rasta is a divine conception of the art, you yeah. know, yeah. but having the dreadlocks also make the masses, them everywhere you go, because being uh, among with thousand or one million people and are you alone having dreadlocks, everybody see you. So your doings and your movement have to be, you know, right. Your hands have to be clean. Your, your heart have to be pure. Your mind have to be clear. No negative bad mind. Mm -hmm. No bad negative thing. You know, you have yeah. to make sure you always in the right way, mm -hmm. because you have to know that once you put the dreadlocks, everybody watching you. Mm -hmm. So what me have to tell the you them not to put in the dreadlocks. They have to, you know, yeah, know that humbleness is the key and focus. Mm -hmm. You see. Yeah, they just don't have to have the dread and call themselves Rasta and do different things. Mm -hmm. You know, Rasta is not like that. Mm -hmm. You know, Rasta yeah. have to be respectful and, you know, yeah. also cleaning because cleanliness is unto God. Yeah. But most of the youth, they just put on the dread and they do anything that they want. Yeah. Yeah. That the stigma that they put in in the public mm -hmm. make people think Rasta is about. But no, unless you come close to us, you have the real Rasta man there. When mm -hmm. you come close to them, yes. you know. So, I... I on this note, I'd like to know, yeah. what is the difference between a Rastafari and a dreadlock man? Because they all have dreadlocks. What differentiates a true Rasta man and then a dreadlock man? Um, a dreadlock man, let me put it in this way. Everyone yeah. have entitled to have his locks mm -hmm. as an uh, mankind, you yeah. know, but having the dread is a is a as I say it's a divine conception. Yeah. You understand of the heart. Of the heart. So you always have to be because as a, as a dreadlock you are like a, a front leader, mm -hmm. masses watching you. Yeah. So your doings have to be right. Mm -hmm. You know, love. You know, unity, togetherness. Mm -hmm. Have to come in. No backbiting. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Supportive. You know. Yeah, when Rasta man see him burning Rasta, love have to show up. You see, but not for them are going like, yeah, they have the mirror and yeah, they say Rasta. No, because me, as me started earlier, you know, yeah, I, I went to the camp to learn. Okay. Yeah, to have a turban as a priest, Bobo priest, you mm -hmm. know. Yeah, so doing all of them things, you know, because Cape Coast masses, when we talk about Rasta, yeah. I am part of the people that. Mm -hmm. We keep this, you know, unity in a Cape Coast man. Now everybody in a Cape Coast can read. Yeah. Beginning, it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. Yeah, yeah. we we have sometimes from home coming to town, we have our own money, yeah. but no care okay, will pick you from because, two yeah, thousand years that negative ago. Perception. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, think man. you know different thing, but we, we we hold the faith, you know, because we know that what we're doing not a wrong thing, you know, uh, always in our right, right way. Yeah. All man. right. So let me jump onto your first song, uh, in a life. What actually came to mind before writing the song? In a life. In a life, you know, because yeah, that was what they said. 